Good morning. I'm making myself breakfast. It isn't even morning. It's 1.30. Uh, I did not just get up. I've been doing stuff. But I'm hungry now, so I'm going to do that. Morning to you. I woke up to, uh, to a doorbell and something on the porch here. Not a Mac. I already have a Mac. Hang on. This is here. So I'm going to see what it is. I ordered a bunch of stuff a couple days ago from like four different sites. Nothing really expensive, just a bunch of little miscellaneous pieces and parts and stuff. So um, I'm actually not really sure what I ordered from Bavarian Auto. It was late at night and I was just buying stuff I've needed for a while. Um, as I said, inexpensive. So I'm going to grab a knife and we'll see exactly what's in there. Right, so I installed another toilet seat. Isn't that fun? They're all done now and they're all new. And I, did, I won't do a DIY on that because you probably don't want to see it. So, anyways, my box from uh, Bavarian Auto came with two parts. Um, part A, I'll show you later because it's for somebody else and I don't think he'll watch it. Hey, he already knows. I'll show you now. It doesn't matter. Everybody's, all of my friends, except Razvan and Alex, drive E39s right now. And for some reason, when you buy an E39, it's completely hit or miss. Sometimes you'll open the toolbox in the back and it will be completely empty. And you just think like, how did the previous owner lose, give away, or otherwise incinerate all of their tools? And sometimes there's like everything in there. I got lucky. I was only missing two pieces in mine, the spark plug socket and the spark plug tool. The spark plug socket came in that box and I now put in the car. It's like $30. I didn't pay that for it, but freaking $30 for a little, I don't even know what it is. Let me come out and look at it. Kenan put it in there for me. He was just here for a quick minute. But uh, I'm slowly filling up my, my stuff back here so I'll have a complete kit. Um, in fact, I didn't even know this was supposed to go here. It's so small. This thing here, it looks like about a 10 millimeter. It's made by Hynix or something, H-E-Y something. Uh, maybe a 10 millimeter thing within a hole in it that I think this might go through. Anyways, I've had a screwdriver but Colt didn't, so I got him one. This one's black, I accidentally ordered two, so I think the other one's gray, he'll probably want that one. So I got a black screwdriver, if anybody wants a black screwdriver. And then the spark plug tool goes here, and that's in the mail. I couldn't find it online other than eBay, so I ordered it from eBay, it's out of a, a 99 540, I think. It looks brand new, guy said it's never been used, and it was probably a tenth the price as it would be from a dealer. So I have no quarrels with that. That's on its way, I got some stuff for the interior on its way. Um, my rear driver's side C-pillar light, I noticed last night, it's flickering on and off. And I, one time it went off and I hit it and it came back on. So I think it's the bulb. So I got to take that bulb out, figure out what the part number is for that. And by that, or ECS, I don't know how they knew, but I got an email this morning from ECS Tuning advertising their LED interior kit. And I wouldn't be opposed to having a little bit brighter and a little bit whiter of a light, but they look like they're like bright white 6,000 Kelvin, just like really bright lights. And I don't want all of that. That's really like aftermarket. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I got to pull that bulb, see what it is, voltage, wattage, and I can probably just go to AutoZone and find it. But knowing me, I will do a real OEM part search for it. Anyways, it's 151. I'm going to go over to Colt's place in a little bit. This clip's entirely too long. We're going to hang out, go to work. He's got to go to work then at four, I think. And that's going to be it for for the morning part. Oh, I'm zooming. Okay, bye. How you doing? Does Anybody know? Sister. Yeah. It's yeah, Rosamond's car. Yeah. Can't see in because of the tent. Nope, we can try. But we can. You, you can't see anything at all. Alrighty, 2.16 a.m. Um, today, wow, got a lot of stuff done. Uh, went over to the grandparents' house move furniture around, getting ready for Christmas, making more room in the family room. Uh, made a shopping list that we got to do tomorrow. We went to dinner with them, went over to Lowe's and got some stuff with them. Um, a lot of stuff in prep for this next week. Went over to Kenan's house to exchange gifts with him. Um, I'll show you what, what I got is actually still in my trunk right now, so I got to get that out in a little bit. But I've got to be up in six, six hours or so, so I need to get up and wrap this up. I don't even remember much of, of what I filmed today. It seems like it was three days ago. Oh, with car parts. Yeah, we ordered that stuff. Got more stuff coming. Cold ordered, just ordered stuff for the 540. It's going to be busy. It's going to be busy, but it's going to be productive and it'll be good at the end. 
So uh, that's going to be it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow on the 21st. More Christmas prep. All right. Good night.